The Nigerian Senate has clarified a constitutional error in its resolution to remove Yakubu Danladi Umar as chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, CCT. During Tuesday's plenary, the Senate corrected its earlier citation, stating that Section 17, Subsection 3 of the Fifth Schedule of the 1999 Constitution, not Section 157, Governors such, or governs rather such matters. The cor correction followed a motion by Senate Leader Kweyemi Bamidele addressing the misstep. The need to correct the mistake regarding the removal from office of the chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal for misconduct. The Senate notes a mistake in its earlier resolution adopted at its plenary sitting of Wednesday, 20th November 2024, regarding the removal from office of the chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, Mr. Yakubu Danladi Umar, for misconduct. Senate also notes that it has become necessary for the Senate to adopt this motion to correct this mistake upon its resolution invoked Section 157 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, instead of Paragraph 17, Sub 3, of Part 1 of the Fifth Schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered. Senate President Gaswil Akpabio acknowledged the error, emphasizing that while the legal basis was initially misquoted, the decision to remove the CCT chairman for misconduct remains valid. For your humility as the leader of the Senate, and also thank the clerk of the Senate, uh, the only uh, group in the world, or uh, the only person that cannot make mistakes in the world, is God Almighty. Only God is above mistake. So, this the, the earlier referred section was talking about the removal of the chairman of the code of conduct uh, bureau not code of conduct tribunal but it does not invalidate our decision the parliament when i was a young lawyer and i was being taught in the nigerian law school when it was only one law school they even said that the parliament can turn a man into a woman and a woman into a man when the parliament takes a decision, it must be respected. The parliament makes the law. The judiciary interprets the law. But we are the ones that guide as far as legal matters are concerned. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.